What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna tell you how basically tell you how to fix every kind of black screening issue you're currently having with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video I just want to you guys know let you guys know that it will really help me out as a little YouTuber as I am if you would take your time just really take your time. It will cost you one second, nothing else, to uh, go and subscribe to my channel. It will really help me to push my project YouTube further, go deeper into the things, and help you out of other videos. So just keep it in mind. It would really help me out. So the first thing I want you to do is basically uh, try to figure out if your PC general, your monitor is um, yeah, attached to your PC the right way. If it isn't, sometimes could be a problem with your cable on your PC or your monitor. Just check for that if this isn't the case. And now you can jump into the things you can do on your PC to uh, help you a lot of this kind of problem you're currently having. So um, the first thing I want you to do is going to be uh, to go to your desktop. So um, take your mouse, I'm going to right click. And now I want you to open up your graphics card control panel. So for me, it's NVIDIA. Obviously, I'm using an, a GeForce uh, NVIDIA card, graphics card. So if you're using something else, you're going to open up your control panel for something else. Uh, but it should be the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Go to open it up. Uh, we are currently at, um, just to keep in mind, we are at a change resolution at, on display. So click onto that. And uh, what I want you to do here is also really, really simple. I want you to basically check if your um control panel's resolution so your monitor's resolution is the same as in game so you need to uh keep in mind which one you're using game so natively it should be 1920 by 1080 but perhaps could happen that you uh check for something else so if you have an in game like 1440 by 1040 1080 i don't know uh like something stretched or something like that uh you need to um apply this also to your um yeah, to your display because this will cause a lot of black screening. So what I want you to do here is going to be to basically you can customize. So click onto customize, uh, create custom resolution. And now what I want you to hear, do here is going to be like if you're having in game like, I don't know, 1440 and I don't know, 1040. And afterwards, uh, go to scan, scan type, progressive standard uh, to CVT or uh, manual. And again, if you're going to manual, uh, you're going to, yeah, as you can see, it um, go to CVT reduce blank. And uh, you're going to click on the test and this will basically apply this to your display. Yeah, I won't do that because I'm recording. This will just destroy my, <laughs> my recording if I'm doing it right now. So for you, you're going to do that for that. And afterwards, you can uh, close your control panel. Next thing is going to be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen or click simply on your PC, on your keyboard, onto the Windows uh, symbol. You're going to click onto the Windows symbol. I'm going to hit settings. Once you're at the settings, I want you to go to uh, system. And once you're at the system, you're going to stick obviously to display. And you're going to do the same thing in the Windows settings, what you uh, what, uh, was, were doing and, and your control panel. So basically, identify what your main monitor is. So if you have two of this one and this one, uh, for me, it's the first one which I'm playing my games on. So uh, identify it. So number one, go to color profile. It should be the same what you're currently using. Go to scale and layout and change the size of text tabs and other items to 100% as recommended. And uh, display resolution, same game, same thing again. Go to uh, which one you're currently using in game. So 1440 by 1040, for I don't know 7020 by 1070, which you're currently using in game. So once you're finished with that. I want you to go to, uh, back once, go to gaming, as you can see right here. And what I want you to do here is really simple. Go to Xbox Game Bar. So we're currently on Xbox Game Bar. And what I want you to do here is going to be to turn this off. Some guys will tell you to turn this on. Some guys will tell you to turn this off. And I'm on the side of guys which are currently turning this off because uh, this will cause, I don't know, don't ask me why, but if you turn this off, it will reduce your probability to have a black screen in game. So uh, just turn this off. Same thing to go to game mode. So skip over captures, go to game mode. And now I can really tell you turn this off or on. Uh, I'm the type of guy to tell you you need to check it for yourself. So for me, it's working better if I'm turn this on. And um, for other guys, it's working better to turn this off. Just check it, turn it on, check it, turn it off, check it. And which one you're currently, uh, which one is currently working better, stick with it. 
So once you're finished with that, I want you to go to closest one, go to your launcher. Uh, for me, it's uh, Steam. You're going to right click. You're going to go to the very button where it says properties. What I want you to do here is really simple. You're going to take tab which popped up. You're going to go to compatibility. And now we need to basically uh, copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program in compatibility mode 4. Select the latest Windows version you can find. For me, it's Windows 8. Uh, disable reduce color mode. Disable run this, uh, run in 640 by 480. Screen resolution, disable the disable, full screen optimizations. Enable run this program as an administrator. And um, disable register this program for restart. You can click on uh, apply and OK. I already did that, so I can't click on apply. Afterwards, uh, you need to restart your PC. And then you will see this little administrator symbol right onto your launcher. And I want you to launch your launcher, launch your game over the launcher. And this will prioritize your game and uh, try to basically uh, to reduce your uh, black screen probability. And if you have an in-game shortcut on your desktop, I'm currently not having it. I'm always starting on my uh, over my launcher. It's a safer start. Um, but if you haven't, do the same thing. Right-click, properties, compatibility. Do the same thing again. So uh, last thing you can basically do uh, is going to be to go to the very bottom of your screen. But I mean, you can also have it like uh, on the top or on the left or right side. So my taskbar is on the bottom. Right click it. Task manager. Uh, as soon as this one pops up, really simple. You're going to go to the top uh, left corner of your screen uh, where you're seeing um, performance app history, startup users, details and services. What I want you to do is going to be to click onto details. And now you need to do two things. And I'm not uh, running my launcher right now, and also not my game. Uh, but if your game is currently running, but it's black screening, you're going to search for your game and do the same thing, which I'm going to do to, I don't know, for example, Creative Cloud. It doesn't really matter. Go to your game, go to your launcher, do the same thing. Uh, you're going to right click. You're going to go to set priority. And now you need to go to above normal or high. What this will do is really simple. You're going to tell your PC how prioritized your um, game will be for your PC. So all the performance your PC has will go into this game, into the launcher. So you need to check if it's working better for you on above normal or high. It depends on which PC you're currently using, which is working better for yours. Um, really simple. So just check for it and do the same thing to your launcher. And this will probably fix uh, your issue you're currently having with black screening. And yeah, guys, uh, that should be it. You can... Additionally, try to uh, update the drivers. It could help. Don't really know, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So just keep in mind that you want to uh, keep your update, uh, your driver in general updated, and your Windows and your graphics for drivers in general. So um, try to keep it updated. And uh, yeah, guys, once you finish with everything I told you, I want you to restart your PC and uh, try to launch a game over the launcher. And uh, this will probably fix your issue. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It'll really make my day and help me out. Uh, just hit the subscribe button. Um, if you have any kind of question, feel free to, to uh, write a comment. I will try my best to answer your uh, questions or do a video about it. And yeah, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.